Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Ryan and today in this video I'll be talking about the Call of Duty reveal trailer and what I want in the next Call of Duty. As many of you guys have already seen, the new trailer or the reveal trailer came out today, uh, which is Thursday for uh, the next Call of Duty 2014. And today is actually Friday when this video is going to be published because I'm going to upload it on Thursday and schedule it to be uploaded on Friday. But like I said, as many of you guys have already seen, the new reveal trailer has been out. And in this video I want to talk about what I think could make a Call of Duty uh, game good again and what could actually revive the series. So if you support my ideas or you guys genuinely enjoy the video, then please make sure to leave a like before you leave and also make sure to subscribe for the latest GTA 5 and also Call of Duty news content, uh, everything like that related to the next Call of Duty game and also GTA 5. I have said in a previous video that I'm not really hyped up for the next game, but seeing the reveal trailer so far, it looks pretty cool, even though some of the things I think they need to kind of quit making and they need to go back to the simplified game. So as many of you have already seen, like I said before, the new reveal trailer came out uh, today, which is Thursday, and it talks about what would happen if these private armies would take over. Now I think it's a, personally it's a good idea. Um, it's you know kind of something new, but also it's tied in with Modern Warfare 3, the kind of modern uh, feel of the game. Now I do like the idea that they're taking it in a different direction. They're not doing MW4 or you know Black Ops 3. I really think the series needs to die. Um, Modern Warfare 3, you know, don't do it a fourth game. But I like how they're kind of adding their own twist to the game instead of making a Model for 4, they're actually going to bring in a new, completely different storyline, different characters, um, because honestly, Call of Duty Ghost was a flop. Um, I hate the game so much, and if you guys watch my videos, you guys will know how much I hate it. Um, but really, they just kind of copied and pasted Modern Warfare 2 uh, cutscenes over everything, the dynamics of the game. And Modern Warfare 2 was a good game because it was the very first, um, you know, really complicated modern shooter. Like Modern Warfare, uh, you know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4. It was very simplified, but was Modern Warfare, um, and that was very new to the World War II based series, which I think is why it did so well, because a lot of people were just waiting for something new, and it was also one of the first games on the you know next-gen plat platforms, which was the Xbox 360 at the time. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that this game could have potential to do good as, like I said, Call of Duty 4, which was really the first person, uh, you know, the first first person shooter on the next gen console, which was the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Um, when it came out, it did very well, and I really do think that if Sledgehammer capitalizes on this next-gen technology with the Xbox One and PS4, I think the game can ver be very good. Now, the only thing I have against Sledgehammer is they helped with Modern Warfare 3, and I'm really sorry, guys. I actually said that they built Call of Duty Ghost. Um, I was kind of misinformed. I was always under the uh, the assumption that they built the game, and it was actually Raven and Neversoft. So I'm sorry about that, guys, uh, putting you know false information in your heads, but honestly, I, just really, don't, I really didn't have any uh, hope in Sledgehammer making a game by themselves. So moving on, what I think is that I... I really do know that this game can be good if it's built right, but it cannot be recycled garbage from other games. Sledgehammer has got to build their own you know, game engine, sound engine, uh, weapon design, mechanics, everything. They cannot recycle anything from Call of Duty Ghost, Modern Warfare 3, because honestly, I really did enjoy those games, and I probably will not buy this game if at E3 I see more gameplay you know, that looks exactly like Call of Duty Ghost or Modern Warfare 3. Now, if it's a lot different, you know, a really nice first-person shooter, I will buy it. But honestly, I really can't make a determination right now because everyone is on the hype train. Um, it's basically whenever the new one is released, everyone is just going crazy. Oh, it's the best game ever. And honestly, I've fell for that many times, you know, especially like with World of War, uh, Marvel for 2. I always did it. Um, you know, it's just how it works. You know, everyone gets hyped for the next game. It sucks, and then they all bag on the last game. It was 10 times better. I don't think Call of Duty Ghost will get that this time, but like I said, I think that this game is new, but it still has a twist to the modern feel. Um, in my opinion, I'm really tired of the modern era of games. I really want to go back into World War II, Vietnam, you know, stuff like that. That was actually really fun to me. I don't know about you guys, but Call of Duty 4, and well, that was Modern Warfare, but I think that um, Call of Duty World at War was one of the best games ever made, and not because it was made by Treyarch, and not because it was World War II, and not because it had zombies, but because the game was just, it, it taught me so much history, and even though it you know, kind of sounds stupid, I love history, um, and when you can tie it into a graphic first-person shooter like Call of Duty, and it's somewhat accurate, um, you know, I think that's the greatest thing ever. Now, with Zombies, Zombies is a great game, and I honestly wish that Treyarch would just build a zombie-only game, um, but right now we can't, you know, put that stuff in their heads. Uh, they're the ones making the game, putting the time into that. We're just asking for it. Um, so like I said, I think World at War, the World War II era game was fantastic. I love World War II era games. Uh, you know, very, the very first one through the very, uh, I think the third, yeah, Call of Duty 3. Um, those games were fun to me. I loved them, even though I was, you know, 10 and 11. Those were still fun games. Now, I think the reason also is that why Modern Warfare did so good is because it was something new as well. And that's why I think Black Ops 
in Black Ops 2 to good because they had the zombies in them with new, you know, engines, graphics, stuff like that. But they were also Vietnam era. They weren't modern warfare. Um, it was, you know, Vietnam, which is something that was new to the game. So what I'm saying, guys, is I think that this, because it's new with the private army thing, um, new storyline, I think it can do good. I think it can succeed. But like I said, Sledgehammer has got to pull all the stops and they cannot cut corners. They've got to build a good game. So anyway guys, I'm not going to talk about the trailer in general because it wasn't very revealing. Um, you know, it's getting the hype build, but it's not really talking about the characters, you know, anything like that. So I'm not going to worry about that for right now. I'm not going to put some bullshit in your head to, for views really um, because I'm not going to waste my time and I'm not going to waste your time watching the video. So I'm just talking about what I want in the game, what I think could make the game good. But I know they need to bring back One Man Army, but really, you know, nerf that thing. Even though I said not to, uh, you know, recycle stuff. I loved One Man Army. I loved Commando. Um, but other than that, guys, I just want the game to be fun. I don't want the spawns to suck ass. I don't want guns to be so overpowered you get, you know, touched by them and you're dead. Um, I just think that if the game is balanced and the, you know, Sledgehammer cares about the community and doesn't just build it off what Activision wants, I think that this game will be one of the top games. But so far, we have no gameplay, we have no storyline, no plot, so we really cannot wait, you know, we really can't, you know, discuss that until we get that new information and then we can talk about it. So, if you guys want to see anything added to the game or you guys believe in my comments or you disagree, then please make sure to comment them in the comment section below. It's like an open forum. Anyone can talk to each other. I read all the comments, even though I don't reply to many of them. Um, so, just leave me a comment what you guys want to see in the game or what you guys, you you know, agree with me or what you guys don't agree with um, I'm open to everything so um, please make sure to do that before you leave and also make sure to leave a like on the video and also make sure to subscribe if you are a new viewer but anyways thank you guys so much for watching my name is Ryan I hope you have enjoyed this video and my opinions and until next time I'm out peace